In Pratt, we can get a file in three ways. By recording a sound, by reading a sound from disk, or by creating a sound from a formula. In order to record the sound, we have to click the new button and select the Record Mono Sound option. Unless we have two distinct sources, we should record a mono sound. The default sound frequency option is recommended for human voice. It is recommended that we use a good quality microphone, maintain a consistent environment, and reduce as much ambient noise as possible. We click the record button. Get, dress, trap, lot. In order to record a sound with the right level of intensity, the signal should not reach the yellow or red area in the meter. We can repeat the steps until we are satisfied with our recording. Kit, dress, trap, lot. Kit, dress, trap, lot. We can name our sound object, save it to the list and close the window. With these settings, Pratt will record up to 220 seconds. Pratt can read most of the audio files that are used by the main operating systems. To open a short audio file, click the Open button and select the Read from File option. To open a longer sound file, select the Open Long Sound File option instead. To create a sound wave, click the new button, select the sound option and select create sound from formula. The standard settings will give us a formula that creates a sine wave with a frequency of 377 Hz. If we remove the second part of the equation, Pratt will create the following wave. If we select a portion of the wave and zoom in, we can observe that the wavelength is 377. It is important to remember that Pratt works with objects, not with files. Therefore, the changes are not saved automatically. In order to save a file, click the Save button and select the desired option.